All right. Yeah, you're nice and low. So if there's any feedback, but um, let's see. Live. We're live, right? Oh, yeah. I Yeah, I can see. All right. The, the little eyeball is up. So now I'll just wait for someone to show up. Hello, everybody. Don't know if we're going to have technical difficulties here today. So please say hello. If you're there. Hi. Okay. Let's go. Hi, people. Um, can you hear me? Uh, can you um, send a quick chat, you know, something, if you can hear me? That would be nice. Can everyone hear Steve? Can everyone, Okay, thank you, Susie. Hi, Steve. Hi, Tony. Can you hear me? Hi, Kathy. Hello. I can hear you. Oh, Dan, you can hear. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, great. All right. Um, because <clears throat> we're having a little... Um, difficulty and it does it's not showing that there's any sound okay perfect so happy that y'all can hear me okay well hey everybody all right and all these people are jumping in so really really good so welcome it's uh taco talk or taco tuesday with uh, ninja steve and hey tracy how you doing um do we have any first timers here hi dolores um judy tony everybody um kimmy awesome so listen, I have a, a super fun project. I'll probably do it for a couple of weeks only because this is kind of, uh, it's for me, is going to learn as you go. So um, anyway, this is this, uh, this is, you know, my, my little gimmick, the taco purse here. And I do want to show you that how flexible this is. And uh, I used, okay, Gene, you're a first timer. Okay, so for any first timers there, I'm just going to uh, say real quickly, um, Yes, welcome. And on Tuesdays, uh, usually, um, mostly every Tuesday, sometimes not due to scheduling or whatever, um, I, I usually work on some kind of fun project. Usually it's just a, every Tuesday it's something different. Hey, Marcy, how are you doing? Um, welcome, um, you, you guys. And um, so the, the one I'm going to be working on today is a purse. And I'll show you that in one second. And... Um, I usually try to work on front fun projects, something just different, just different things. Anyway, I wanted to do a purse for a long time because uh, there's a lot of people that out there that I admire that do them. And so this is a little Michael Kors um, purse. Um, someone was very kind and gave it to me. And this is going to be an experiment. So um, let's see. Tracy, oh, we're doing good today. We're doing good. I am going to. So listen, this is a Michael Kors. It's supposed to be leather. I really have no, I have really no idea if it's leather or not leather. <clears throat> so normally at Crystal Ninja, when we use, um, we work on leather shoes. We, we haven't worked on, I have not worked on bags. So this is a first time for me is uh, we are going to attempt and we're going to use Fusion Tech. So this is in our Precision Glue Bottle. Um, and I like to work with it this way. And the reason um, I did speak to Kelly. So I spoke to the Crystal Ninja. And she said that I could use the Fusion Tech. And I think um, the only difficulty I'm going to find is now look at the camera real close. You see here in the bend right here, right there and right there. The leather or this material. Hey, Oracle, how you doing? It crinkles, which means um, I don't want stone on stone because when you have two stones together like this, if, if you're trying to make them um, bend and move, they're just going to pop off. So the cool thing about this glue, it's very flexible and bendy. Hi, Judy. Um, uh, so as you can see on this thing, it's very flexible and bendy and nothing is coming off. I've had this for, well, not a year, but close to a year and it, and everything has stayed on. Nothing has moved uh, off of it. So this is going to be uh, an experiment. Um, I realized this morning I, I started to test it out because as you can see on the purse, it has this, this pattern, which is this really thin um line of leather here and then the stitching and then this kind of beveled and because it has a bevel right here i need to make sure that the 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 stones are sitting flat on there so that 
um, that they adhere. Uh, because if, 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 if they're hanging off, it'd be basically like this is a complete exaggeration. If I were to glue this on a bevel, all I would need to do is move this and it's going to pop off. So I need to do smaller stones, which I have. I'll explain my color choice and, my, um, and the size of the stones in one second. Um, as on most projects, so um, hi, Sunday, how you doing? Great to see you. Uh, is we prep our, our projects and we usually sand. And I did sand this earlier. And you should be able to see this, this part here is a little more shiny than here. The reason I, I'm not doing that on, on, on camera is because we would sand it and then you'd alcohol wipe it and brush off any of the, um, the sanded material. Well, if I alcohol wiped it, then it would be damp and then I wouldn't be able to put glue on it. So, um, Jackie, sorry, I missed which glue. I'm using um, uh, Fusion fusion um, on, it, on, on this. So this may be leather. It may not be leather. As uh, Kelly had told me, this is a purse and it's not like a pair of shoes, which is getting... Although, I don't know, I imagine you ladies, if you threw this old, it, it's not getting a lot of like abuse, which means it, it's it's not like this. I'm not going to do the, um, uh, what the hell is, what this is called? Oh my God, English language. Thank you, the strap, the shoulder strap, because yeah, I was like, this thing here, it's not a belt. What is it? <laughs> hey, Scarlett, how you doing? Um, so I'm not going to put stones on there because this will get used a million times because and if I put stones on it, you could never adjust it if you wanted to make it a purse or a shoulder bag or whatever. So, you know, I probably should just take this off, which I will actually do right now. So those of you that have crystallized or and has watched Kelly's videos or my videos, we normally do a back painting on our projects. When you back paint or match the color of the stones to the, the item, it allows for looking like a deeper, richer, fuller. Um, are we frozen? Am we moving? I'm moving. Are we okay? Susie, we okay? Okay, cool. Um, so the thing is, is that this is this kind of pinky salmony, whatever the heck co color this, this purse is. And I special ordered these crystals because uh, this was a, a, a personal thing of mine and I wanted to. This is. This is um, China glass. It's called, it's fake part of Padasha, which is a Swarovski color. I can't say that word because I'm not selling anything or whatever. This is fake part of Padasha, which really matches the leather quite, quite well. So I'm I was working on a project this morning, and this is going to be a, a great e example if I can. Um, so. You see that I have this board and you see these lines here. Never mind why I have these lines, but by not back painting painting, this is orange with black. I can see the lines through the th uh, through my pattern. So if this was all orange, then you would not see any of those lines. Also, although it's actually it, it looks much better on, on camera than it does um in real life because I can see the little, little black holes, which is where the the surface is coming through. So by back painting, you create a really solid illusion. Now on camera and in real life, this just sparkles. You don't really see much of the background. Even so, I have um, in this this color, part of Padasha, uh, they don't have SS3. So SS4 is the smallest one. So I, right there, unfortunately, a four doesn't fit. A three would fit. They don't make it. I mean, if I wanted to be crazy, I could put maybe a matching piece of glitter. I could maybe take a little um, pen and make it a little darker. But you know what? Until I point it out, you're not going to really see that. I know you're not going to see it because I don't see it. So anyhow, so... I, this is a small bag. It's a size, it's not much bigger than my hand. Okay. So, oh, you're so welcome, Oracle. Um, so the thing is, is that 
this is not much bigger than my hand. So I wanted to keep the stones on the smaller side because, yeah, if I use larger stones, I'd cover up the entire uh, purse like really, really quickly. But I, I'm, you know, I'm an artist at heart. So I want to like keep the integrity. The original design of the purse has this stitching here and stitching there and this little bevel. So like, what do I want to do? So for now, I'm going to this little outline, it will be like what I call the picture framing. It will frame the artwork, which will be frame all the crystals. So I am not going to do this line unless when I finish this whole thing, if I find it distracting, then I will put it on. And I will be doing the bottom as well. But when I, it, it, it actually for me, it doesn't serve such a great purpose to actually cover this entire thing um and it's going to be weird if i just like drew a line here and said okay i'm just going to do this so i'm going to do something fun underneath but that will be next week or the week after hi andrea hi laura nice it's so nice to see so many people today um so okay as i said i'm using i have ss4s for fillers for the small spaces I have eights, twelves, sixteens, and twenties. I'm going to, and I made up a little, I just threw everything in a little work. This is how I'm going to work. And my in my SS4s, I'm going to make a little pile on the side because uh, it'll be easier just to grab. So the next thing I want to discuss is that I needed to decide since the 20s are going to be the largest i'm going to put my glasses on so i can see because that would be nice there you go look at that i'm amazing so as i told you the problem area is going to be right here and right here because there's a crease so i need to i need to i have two options and you know something i'm not really going to know until i do it because that's what i decided that how i would work this project that i'm going to do it and if i have to rip it off or throw crystals away or, or d destroy it. That's what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use smaller crystals and maybe make it a little more spacing. Now I I'm pulled this up to the camera and whatever this leather or leather esque material is, you can see there's like a bump there and there's a bump there and there's little bumps there. There's all bump, 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 bump or whatever. So I can, I can work my, and I'm using a, a sprinkle or scatter fill, which is usually three different sizes, more sizes, the merrier. Yeah. You can have more sizes. Um, um, but I, uh, as I told, I'm using the SS fours for the small, small areas because I wanted to try to um, make sure that this got pretty full. And I did a, I think I did a, a good job except for the C because a four will not fit in there. Maybe I could take a, an SS4 and, and hammer it and just get a little shard and shove it down there and shove it in there. That's an option because you know something? If this doesn't disturb me or you, then it doesn't disturb anyone. If it does disturb me, then I could, like I said, I could make a little shard and shove it down there. And no one's going to notice it's going to be a shard because all they'll do is see, see the sparkle. So since I already started this, I do have everything pretty tight which I'm not hating. I'm actually liking quite well, but I've already like tried to move it around. This part of the purse is, is very stiff. This is not going to bend. This is not going to bend because there's the card holder in the back and there's um, cardboard or whatever is on the lining. This is, this is my only area that I'm really not sure what I'm going to do. So let's get started. So first thing I just want to grab a little pinch of fours and stick them there on the side. How are we doing? I know that, um, yes, exactly. Well, I could, you know, actually, t Tony, I could shove, uh, you know, let's just see what happens. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to shove it. It's either going to break or something, but I need to put some glue in. Oops, that was way too much glue. And you know something? I am going to, <laughs> uh, that's that's me talking and not paying attention what I'm doing. And I don't have any little, okay. I'm going to let that dry a bit. No, I'm not. Let's see. I'm going to rest it right there. 
And yeah, too much glue. It's totally submerged. So I will pick that out. And I had a really good picker. Um, and this is okay, good. And that took out most of the glue, which I wanted. So I was wrong. A, a four does fit in there. So I'm just going to concentrate just because I do want it. And okay, that and I have to say that looks pretty amazing. I think it's the, the, the O that doesn't fit. But you know something? We're going to, we're going to float that in in there which means it's not floating floating but i'm just going to fill up the o with glue gently and hope that yeah there we go of course i got some on the, on the o i'm going to wipe that off now the glue is flush to the surface and the o the stone is is fitting in the o but it's not going to go all the way to the bottom. Hey, that looks pretty good. Now, this is the one. Um, what's the best way to clean your katana? Okay, so if I got glue on the katana, which I did not, um, I would have a little uh, napkin or something on the side. Can you all see me? And I would just, I'm, I'm twirling it. Can you see my fingers twirling? I would twirl and twirl and twirl twirl and drag sounds like a drag queen twirl and drag and you usually you can see the the white or if you use any other glue you can see it on, on your tip so you twirl and drag is because um you want to keep maintain the tip the pointy part of the tip all right okay the last thing i i i, I do want to see if i can break a four in here i don't think I think I'm really going to have to smash it, but you know what? This is fun, right? All right. It's now it's hovering. <gasps> People, I did it. Look. Okay. I can tell you it's not quite flush. Oh, no, no. It is now. Well, when I dry fitted, it didn't work, but it's working fine. Okay. So now the, 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 the logo, I'll pull it up as close as I can before it goes. It's all sparkly. Okay, cool. Am I missing any questions? Ju um, um, okay, Judy, you're good. Okay, cool. And Susie's got is getting everything covered. All right, so look, I'm going to work on the little beveled part. I'm on camera, and if you see, I'm putting a and I am putting it down into the stitching because that is that will form a really good bond, and I am very lightly like almost painting it on with this tip. I'm not making it globby. I'm just making a nice thin layer. Okay, I can do I, I can do a good good amount good section amount there. So I, I'm I am gonna repeat myself because I, I guess I love to do that. But people that come in and out and everything and you might have a question and make sure that you keep your your tip also on your precision glue bottle um, clean. All right. This is going to go there. Going to move that over. And I could, on a project like this, the way I'm working it, I could have made little piles of, of all the individual stones, but I did not. So, <clears throat> so first thing first, this is this little bevel. And um, Susie, because I I spoke with Susie this morning, I had a whole line of 12s fit really nice on the bevel, but it started to bother me. So I scraped some of it off and I am putting a combination of eights and 12s. And with the eights, they kind of wrap around on the bevel. And that's fine. Actually, I want to use another. I don't want to, um, I just need to, important thing is to make sure that every stone is flush to the surface, that there is no gaps or it's just floating on the glue because, um, because then there's more chance of it 
uh, flying off in some form or whatever. So I'm kind of doing on this very edge, not a perfectly, a perfect sprinkle sprinkle because I'm just going to be using two sizes. Okay, we got a lot of conversations going on and I appreciate Susie is just on it over there. And I am though kind of honeycombing in some larger stones where the the bevel it's because it's a bevel and not a a square edge like a table has a square edge so i am kind of letting these things meet um in a more organic way so here's the thing is the 20s they're they, they're big and at first, I wasn't going to use 20s. I was just going to use all small ones. But then I broke down and said, yeah, I'm going to use 20s. So the thing is, is I'm going to strategically place a few around. Not that it has to be like um, spread um, like, you know, every quarter of an inch or anything like that. But just spread them around so that when the light hits them, th that re uh, reflection will be a little more balanced. Now I'm going to fill in true to a honey, I mean to um, a sprinkle with whatever is going to fit. I am going to use, I think an eight is going to fit there. And I just have to make sure that it, where the stitching is here, it's, uh, it's raised a little. So I don't want any crystals hanging over because you're mostly going to be grabbing like this to open the purse when it's close when you snap it closed right so you want to make sure this is um well glued and also that you don't have any um stones hanging off in any way because that you're just kind of guaranteeing that there's going to be some kind of disaster so on this bevel i'm just i'm putting in some of the fours <clears throat> And the, and the bigger, smaller spaces, I'm doing some eights. And like I said, make sure that these are flush. I mean, that you press down. Yeah, and they're flush. That is the correct word. I'm thinking, am I using the English language correctly? So I am. How are we doing? Okay. Oh, there's lots of conversations. I am. All right, so uh, I am going to, because I do have a bit of a tighter fill here, I am going to, okay, that works. Can I throw this here? I can throw that there. And then I'm going to go back small, and I'm going to put a four in there, because uh, as those that have... Um, come on taco tuesdays before you know i'm always talking about be consistent with your spacing so this might come and bite me in the butt uh later on when i get over here because i might have to i think i'm gonna be able to just do it with smaller stones where where the where the purse has the creases just have smaller stones i'm i'm, I'm hoping that's gonna work if not then i will have to can see this nice little space there and a four will fit in really perfectly there and i'm just going to make sure it's flat with the glue so i'm really excited i think this is going to be um it's just, i think it's just going to be a, a fun project so uh you might you might have um an old handbag i wouldn't suggest a brand new one i would suggest getting an old one that you can uh, test and that mean basically test your glues. If you had uh, like, say you had something similar to this, um, I would glue a section and then I would be extremely rough on it. I would, I would do what I did with this one because this has wet glue. I would like bend it. I would like do this. And I'd be like, do I hear any cr noises that like crystals hitting each other? I'd be looking to see if anything's moving. And then I kind of feel, could feel confident that, okay, this, this thing is not going to move. So I want to keep 
uh, the smaller sizes. And I will fit that in there. And I got to tell you, this is really pretty. I mean, I don't, I, I don't have a purse. I don't use the purse. I don't plan on using one. But someone's going to get a very nice gift one of these days. I'll tell you. Yeah, the color is pretty amazing. And um, as I said, how are we doing on time? Uh, I, oh, okay, got a few minutes. Okay, sorry, I was like too much technology looking around. What am I looking at? Um, what what I uh, was talking about the back painting is the 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 when um, this woman gave me this the 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 purse. I was like, oh my god, that's such an interesting. And at first, I was going to do like a a bigger contrast. I think I was even thinking of like a hyacinth, like an orange, and the pink coming through. I think is a really cool and interesting um, combination. But then I was like, I remembered that Swarovski had a part of Pradarsha, which this just reminds me of it. And I was like, well, I'm not going to buy, or I don't know if I could buy Swarovski, but this um, this is China glass. It's pretty freaking beautiful. So how are we doing? Let's see. Yeah, it is a pretty cool color, right? Ah. So here's something. Um, so the thing is because the other thing that's good about sprinkle is that, you know, sprinkle is really great for, um, I won't say covering your mistakes, but if you're not, I know some people are petrified of it, which I, I always find fascinating. If they're, um, the great thing about sprinkle is the fact that if you don't if you don't do well with your back painting, you can just take smaller stones and stick them in the the negative space or the empty spaces, and um, and your and your and your work will look freaking amazing. So, um, so what so what I want to say? I was looking on. I was looking. Does a four go in there? And I lost my train of thought. I am so sorry. Um, the thing is, is that. You have to decide how you're going to go about working on your piece. Do you want to use the background as part of your feature? So if I had used orange, I would have made the spacing. I mean, if I had used the highest in crystals, I would have made larger spacing so that you actually saw the orange. Yeah, from far away, it's still just going to sparkle like crazy. And you're not going to really, you're not going to no notice that much of a color shift. But then when you get clo close, you'd be like, oh, wow, there's a lot lot more detail. There's a lot more going on. And which I think is fun when you work on a piece is to create um, some interesting textures or, or, okay, that's three large ones together. That's fine. Um, and I think I want to use four there. Yes, and another four there. So... I'm going to probably work on this because we have a, um, a, enough things to do here at Crystal Ninja that I will not be working much on this on the side. So for the next couple of weeks, uh, I'll be working on this. And you'll see as it, let me just finish this little part here. Mm, that goes well there. Let's take a 16 that fits there. And I'm going to stick it eight in there and I am going to slide an eight in there and push everything around which is okay a four is going to go in that little spot make sure I have that right and I will have to slide that in and I'm going to go back and tap to make sure everything is flush yep this is looking good. All right. And one more 20 there. All right, y'all. So quick, quick, quick um, little recap. Um, okay. Susie's answering a bunch of stuff. Awesome. Remember, match your stones to, to, your, to your surface color, whatever. Um, I did sand this and I did clean this. You should be able to see this is duller and this is a little shiner, shinier. That way I will, um, 
I took actually a very fine sandpaper because if this is leather, I wanted to scruff it up a little uh, fair amount. Pay attention to the to the um, the integrity of the piece you're working on. This had a bevel, so make sure that you your stones are, are kind of rounded, rounded in the sense. Don't work as if you had two edges meeting on a, on a table like that. Work that so the smaller ones will will create that bend in your piece. And this is what I got today. And I can't wait to see what happens next um, week. So I'm like looking at the camera. And if anybody has anything they want to say, quickly fire that off to, to me. And, and okay, Tony's going to swing by and yes absolutely if you're in the neighborhood come by and say hi absolutely so yes sure absolutely so here you go um as you see it just sparkles for you which is that is the ultimate effect which is awesome you're welcome kim um and for your craftsmanship and for um tidiness and professionalism whatever you want to make sure this bottom line is as you know as straight as possible and it is from my eye it looks pretty damn good and um when i work you can see that the stitching is right there i will work those stones right up to the stitching the stitching will give an extra bond with the glue thank you sharon um Andrea, yeah, it's a very pretty color. Uh, and, and, and in real life, of course, you, you all know this, that the stones sparkle that much more than they do on camera. It's all sparkly, but the way the light height hits it in real life is pretty awesome. Okay, that's it. Thank you all, and see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye. Susie says bye, I'm sure. Bye, Susie.